All right, we're back at my favorite local spot, flying up to my favorite local mountain to fly. It's a beautiful day with some of the first fresh snow of the season. As winter comes along, the sunny days usually bring strong north winds, so it makes it harder to fly, but I'll keep flying until snow bike season takes priority. I got a transmitter mitten to help keep my hands warm, so I do hope to fly throughout winter, but it all depends on whether I'm out riding if the conditions are good. I've got a new Skydio 2 Plus for follow filming my snow biking this year, so I'm especially excited for that. And ultimately, as I produce higher and higher quality action videos, I will be including higher and higher faithful content to match. This is a faith and action production where the faith comes first. Our lives are often so blessed with such extravagant hobbies and pastimes like FPV quad flying or snow biking, but the problem is that if you don't know God and follow Him with a whole heart, being obedient to His Word, the Holy Bible, then it's all just an idol before Him, and it only adds to your judgment on Judgment Day. There are ten commandments that cover the big sins, and then there are many other commandments that instruct us on other sins. Jehovah's Torah is His instructions for life and how He has decreed that human beings should live. When those instructions are rebelled against, it brings judgment, and judgment brings punishment. It's the law of having a righteous God whose very nature is diametrically opposed to sin. It is explained in the scriptures as the difference between being clean or unclean. Jehovah is so high and perfect and holy and set apart from our filthy world that he's like an all-consuming fire that just disintegrates anything unclean. It's like throwing a glass of water into the sun. It just cannot coexist. That is why we are called to repent of our sins and follow Yeshua, the Messiah, in doing what's right so that we can be saved from not only the consequences of our sins, but of a mindset and lifestyle that incorporates sin in our lives as we live now. So by all means, repent and be saved from a lost and dying world, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand.
so 